touches my washer. You're gonna have to ignore that. Hopefully I can talk loud enough over it. Um, but I just filmed a Caudalie haul video. So if you wanna watch that, that's probably gonna be the video back from this one. Um, but then I was doing it, I was like, I might as well just kind of post all the toiletries or like pharmacy item makeup things that I bought while in Europe and in the UK. Just because I used to always post kind of makeup things on like YouTube and TikTok. So why the heck not continue with that? Um, but yeah, this is kind of what I bought. I'm sure that I'm missing some things, but this is the majority. Okay, starting off with the silly things because Europe and the UK for Lush, they did a collab with Shrek. If you know me, you know I love Shrek. Um, I don't know about Canada in the States. I haven't looked it up, but when I looked it up a couple months ago when I first saw the collab launch, Canada or North America, sorry, wasn't getting it. So just because my bag was already extremely full and I ended up having to buy three more bags, um, I only got a small one, but it's the Fiona shower gel. So it's like glittery, slimy, um, you can't smell it, so there's no sense bringing it up here, but it kind of smells like mango. Like, mango and almost like Christmas mixed together. It's the Ogre Joyed with this fairy tale blend, a fr fresh, fruity fragrance transformed into a beautifully cleansing shower gel. So you have Princess Fiona and uh, Princess Fiona Shrek there. Excellent. And then I really hope this didn't get crushed, but this is really excellent the Shrek swamp bath bomb I am very excited to use this there's like seaweed and like random stuff coming off um yeah anyways that was great I wanted to get a few other things but honestly space was so limited in my bag that I only got these two things um that smells really good I just got a whiff of it again I don't know what it smells like. We're gonna have to look it up later. I'm not gonna bother right now, but it smells great. I hope my bath turns into like a muddy swamp because that would be fantastic. And then I got two different self tanners because I went out there very orange and I had to scrub it off. And then this I bought from Super Drug. I think it was like five or six pounds. So like 10-ish Canadian. I put it on for half an hour and I was so dark. So after three hours, I feel like it wouldn't have been good. I would have been the same way I went to Europe. And then I went to Poundland to find a new luggage lock. Didn't find that, but I found Bondi Sands Aerofoam Light Medium Tanner for like seven pounds. So probably like 11, 12-ish Canadian. And that's, uh, this is usually, I don't know, like 40, 45-ish at Shoppers here. I don't know the exact price if I'm wrong. Fight me, it's fine. But that's a steal. Both of these were steals. And I already know I like this brand and I already obviously tried this once and it was fantastic so did I need it whatever and then I went to Kiko I got this concealer it's so similar to like the NARS um creamy pot concealer I got it in like color two high coverage concealer wearing it now it's perfect for underpainting on your makeup big fan of that and then I got not one but three um eyebrow fiber mascaras one's for my sister so if you're watching this congratulations you won a prize uh they're just fantastic i always buy these i always stock up when i go to europe just because i know how good they are and i think they're like seven pounds so again like 10 11 12 dollars canadian steal the deal i know that i love it so i always buy a few and it lasts for ages it reminds me a lot of the benefit fiber i can't think of what it's called but super similar like half the price a good find and then i got this lip gloss which kind of is like the white russian of kiko lip gloss it's 3d hydra lip gloss anyways good stuff cute color and then i got this bronzer which i'm wearing today it's the flawless fusion bronzing powder i think it was again like 12 dollars from kiko kiko's kind of like europe's elf but a lot of their stuff is pretty decent. Um, this lip liner, it's the Smart Fusion Lip Pencil in color four. I'm wearing it again. It's like very velvety and smooth. Um, hopefully that focused. It reminds me of Pillow Talk, so. Cheap dupe, I think it was like five pounds. Um, that's all from Kiko, I believe. 
And then I got this Nivea Refreshing Day Cream SPF 15 24 hour um, face cream. That just reminded me, see I already knew that I was forgetting things. I got a big tub of the Nivea body wash. I can maybe go find that, but sorry, not body wash, body lotion. Um, I think that was like eight pounds. I know we have Nivea in North America, but I just feel like it's not the same quality and maybe it's in my head, but I think it's better out there. Anyways, can be a Europe trip without the Marvis toothpaste. I just got a mini one because I was flying right there and I didn't have a check bag, so I didn't feel like paying for a check bag just for the big, big, big toothpaste. But it's great, it's nice, it's fresh. Is it worth the money? Jury's out, but whatever. Um, from Primark, I bought a body anti-chafe balm. This stuff, I literally was using it in like the 26, 27 degree weather in Prague and um, Budapest wearing dresses and skirts and no biker shorts underneath because usually that's what I do but I forgot them no rash no chafing this is so fantastic and it was like four pounds 10 out of 10 would recommend because this stuff thick thighs save lives this stuff saves lives too um so I got that from Primark as well as this hair mascara wand which I actually just use as clear mascara and clear eyebrow gel but I think it'll be great for slicking hair back and it's very tiny so Excellent find um, from Catrice. I got this Charlotte Tilbury dupe. I do use the Charlotte Tilbury, so I'm not sure. Like I'll do one side and one and kind of compare. It is nice. A lot of people prefer to Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not sure that I love it. I will have to give it like a proper try with all my makeup back here and kind of like properly test it. And then I got the Catrice Under Eye Brightening Instant Awake. It is so similar to the Becca under eye. It's kind of more liquidy than the Becca under eye, but if you let it sit for a while, it kind of gets to that same texture, but brightens up those under eyes. I have gnarly under eye circles, so it's necessary. From Zara, I got this, I don't even want to say it, rose perfume. It's like a rose vanilla -y light scent because I forgot my perfume and um, I didn't want to buy an expensive one and probably smash it while I was out there. So that, and then I got this benzoyl peroxide because I broke out and I have zits so that was in Hungary do I understand it no am I just applying and hoping for the best yes and then this is the cuddly haul so if you already watched it end it here but um then I got the five minute purifying vena pure mask again I have not checked but I pretty sure I used to use this and I loved it it worked great for my skin then the Gentle Buffing Cream from Cuddly as well. It is just a nice like exfoliant. Haven't tried it. Very excited to scrape off this cake and give it a try. The Venusaurus Hyaluronic Serum. This guy here, fantastic. I bought this multiple times now and I know that I love it. This moisturizing mask. It is a 10 minute mask. I sleep in it overnight. You wake up, your skin is happy, hydrated. I love it. It's kind of similar to like the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. Like it's just nice and hydrating and not like greasy. Your skin is just kind of happy and alive. And then lastly, I think, yeah, the Caudalie um, Salicylic Acid Spot Treatment. So that is all for my Euro kind of toiletry pharmacy buys, except for, yeah, that Nivea lotion that I'm not gonna get off my ass to find. And I'm sure I'm missing like a few other things cause I haven't really opened up any of my suitcases except for the one that's had this stuff so um yeah i'm sure i'm missing things but that's the main gist so